Today I'm talking about total elbow replacement. This elderly patient had a fall and sustained a nasty injury to her elbow. X-rays and CTs confirmed that there were multiple fragments. In other words, this was a smashed elbow. Recent literature suggests that total elbow replacement is a better option compared to plates and screws for treating injuries like this for patients' pain, range of motion, and functional scores. So that's what we did. This is how the patient is set up. You can see the skin incision here is marked and there is heavy bruising that you can see, which is typical for a trauma case like this. We remove the loose bone fragments and we use these to help us size the appropriate joint replacement parts. We then use trial implants to make sure we had full range of motion and confirmed this with intraoperative x-ray showing full range of motion that was impingement free and the implants all in the correct position. We then use a vacuum assisted dressing at the end of the case to help with any excess ooze that we might have, which is particularly useful in these high trauma injuries. We then get the patient into a sling one week postoperatively and can start early range of motion and then gently bring in strengthening exercises at about six weeks.